I'm on a contraceptive implant, like the thing in my arm. So it's like almost impossible. But I have this hunch. It's likely wrong, but I just gotta make sure. Hey Siri, set timer for three minutes. Okay, three minutes and counting. Let's do this. Oh, thank God. Faye sent me a link to an ASOS dress the other week and she was like, hey, do you like this? It was cool. So I just ordered it for her and it's just shown up. Faye doesn't know I've ordered it, so. Fingers crossed I got the right size. She still likes it. All of those things. <laughs> Presents. What? I was on there last night. I went to bed at like midnight and then went on to ASOS looking at stuff. It was out of stock when I looked at it yesterday in my size. Oh, you're the best. Nailed it. See ya. Bye. Love ya. I love you. I'm out of here. I'm off to do a bit of work at a client's office today. Unsure if I'm in there all day or whether I'll just go in for a couple of hours, but heading in there now, and then we'll see where the day takes us. On account of our little scare this morning, I started to remember being pregnant and thinking about, you know, what it was like and, you know, looking back on it fondly. <laughs> oh man, these hiccups. Which is crazy, because at the time, you know, a lot of the time it wasn't super enjoyable. <sighs> oh. I don't know about you guys, but when I get the hiccups, they're quite sore and they make me super tired. So like, I like have the yawns and the hiccups. I really hate the hiccups. <laughs> Oh, so when I was pregnant, I was like, I was almost due. It was maybe like a week or only a few days before our due date. And I was over at the park with Push. Nate was still at home working. And I had bent down and was patting this puppy. And I was just like, oh, oh puppy, oh, it's so cute. And then, then one of these dogs there, Isla, who's a Vistla, is full of beans, came like barreling through the group. And I didn't see her coming. And she hit me on my side and I fell off. Oh over and it gave me such a fright and kind of hurt because you know I was super pregnant and it hurt my muscles but I just like imagine a tree being chopped down and it just goes boom that was me I just fell completely to my side and it gave me such a fright and it hurt and took the wind out of me and I started crying and it was so embarrassing. I kind of lay there for a minute and was just like, <laughs> oh no, I'm fine. But I was a mess. I got up and I wasn't gonna leave straight away. I didn't want to leave crying and embarrassed. So I was just like, oh, it's totally cool. Tears running down my, uh, my face. And everyone was super nice about it. The guy apologized for his dog. Obviously it wasn't the dog's fault. I stayed for like five Five minutes. I stayed long enough to try and save a little bit of face and then I went home and as I was coming home I texted Nathan and said just be prepared I fell over at the park and I'm gonna cry when I get back you know I was I knew it was I was not happy I was just feeling super emotional and not super good I get back home and I walk in the door and I see Nathan I give him a huge hug and I burst into tears and as I burst into tears I just feel like a gush of water and I freaked out. I had thought, because I had just been knocked over, I thought, oh man, something's happened. Like, I've gone into early labor because of like the stress or the fright or the dog hit me in the stomach or whatever. We thought we weren't really sure what to do. We knew obviously if your water breaks early that you should go to hospital. So I like messaged my mom who was still in New Ze Zealand and said, don't get on a plane yet, but like we're gonna go to the hospital because we're not really sure this just happened and my waters may have just broken. So we go to the hospital, must have been like, um, like 7 30 by this point and we go to the hospital and we're there for a few hours and they run tests and I'm on the bed and they're doing blood pressure and checking the baby and everything was totally fine because I had just pissed myself. <laughs> and that is the story of how we thought I went into early labor but I actually just wet my pants. Are you having fun on your mat squish? Are you playing 
um, with your bandana? How can you play with it? Because you can't even see it. Watching her play with that spoon is mesmerizing. Like you can see her thinking about it and holding it. Hey, Baba. And knowing what it does, but not knowing how to do that for herself. That was awesome. Good work. Well, I completely forgot to film it all when I got here. So I didn't check in even a little bit. Been smashing through work all morning. Productive morning, which is good. Although the edit that I'm working on has a strict like two minute cutoff, can't be any longer. And uh, I'm halfway through the script that's been written to, for me and we're at a minute 55. So I just had to call the guys and be like, hey, we might need to have another look at this script. <laughs> it's a bit long. Just quickly checking on the car. And then I just got an email. There's the car, it's still there. A print that somebody ordered is ready for pickup. Coincidentally, the printers that we use for all of our prints is within walking distance from where I'm working today. So I'm walking up there now to pick up the print. <laughs> Picking up a print, don't I know one? Yeah, awesome. Hey, buddy. Can you go on? Thank you very much. Oh, Have a good one. See you. Yeah. Like, always stoked with how good a job these guys do at prints. JCP Studios, Cremorne. If you're in Melbourne and you need printing done, fine art, photography, kind of stuff, there you go to, guys. I'll get an iced latte, please. All right, back from lunch. Now I'm cracking into stuff for the rest of the afternoon. To better assist us in eating healthy, we've got the freezer meals, so there's stuff that's, you know, <laughs> convenient and on hand. <laughs> exactly. That are go-to meals so we make better, healthier decisions. We've almost got through those gross ones. Now most of them should be healthy, convenient, and delicious. The trouble we face now is that there's so much in our freezer, we don't really know what to have and we don't know how to approach it. And we, uh, I don't know, we just can't decide what to have for dinner. So I'm gonna go through our freezer and write down all the meals that are in there. I'm gonna go through the freezer, write down all the... I'm gonna go through the freezer, write down all the meals that are in there, and then that way we know when we've had one, we'll just cross it off. When I put more in there, I can add them to the list. So we have our head around what's in there rather than looking at the freezer and going, Malona. And Luna is super excited about that. Don't mind that noise. And if you see the dog, there's a huge blowfly in our house and he's doing his best to catch it. It's been beating him for an hour. Let's do this. Food. All of those. I'm gonna make this list look fancier and then I'm gonna stick it to the freezer. Hashtag mum life. Sound like a plan, Squish? <coughs> she approves of organization. The other thing we're gonna do, I have a loaf of bread to bake today. Once we've eaten that, no more bread again for a while. Smoothies only for breakfast. Ugh. It has to be done. I just printed off that thing and stuck it on the freezer. <laughs> I feel like overly and stupidly organized, but you know what? It's gonna help make better and healthier decisions. So I kinda like it. Check it out. When we make new ones, we can write it on, but these are all the ones that we have in there now and all the portions. What a geek. I just got my loaf of bread out of the oven and it is pretty much perfect. A little blonde, but I just had to get out of the oven it's too annoying to go back every two minutes with the baby, so I'm happy with it like that. But I also put it in perfect, so the rings from the proofing basket start exactly in the middle. Oh, yes! Look how perfect that is. Right there. I just walked out the door heading home and realized I forgot the print that I'd picked up earlier today back in the office. Everyone was leaving, so fingers crossed someone's still there to let me in. All right, now I can go home. Hopefully Luna's still awake so that I can get a, get in a cuddle before she goes to sleep. Oh hi. Hi. Luna already asleep? Yeah. Missed out on baby cuddles. 
might sneak in for one later on. Yeah.